Let us look at an example of a distance rate time, or DRT, problem involving two variables. Here's our situation. We're going to look at two cities that are 160 miles apart on an east-west line. And we'll pretend that there's just one road connecting them. Car A is leaving the western city and traveling toward the eastern city. Car B leaves the eastern city and travels toward the western city. So our situation is that we have two cars traveling toward each other. Car A is a little bit faster, 10 miles per hour faster than car B, and they meet after an hour and 36 minutes. The question is, what are the average speeds of the cars? Well, we can kind of draw a picture of this situation so that we have an idea of what we're looking at. We've got car A over here, and it takes off and heads toward the other city. And meanwhile, car B has also left, and it's heading toward car A. They are 160 miles apart, and it takes them one hour and 36 minutes to meet. Car A is 10 miles per hour faster than car B. So, we need to organize our information. A picture isn't really going to do it. If we make a nice table with distance, rate, and time information, we can draw the equations out more easily. I'll put my headings as rate times time equals distance. I like to put the operations, the uh, multiplication, and the equal sign in so that I don't have to do as much work later on. It reminds me what I'm doing. I'm looking at two different cars, so I'll label each row, A and B. Again, that's so that I don't have to think as hard later on. And I'll see about extracting information. Well, we know the time. The time is an hour and 36 minutes. Each car is traveling, so they're going to have, for that length of time, they'll have the same time. And we have a mixture of units. You don't want that in a word problem. You want all of your units to be the same. Since our information about speed was given to us in miles per hour, we'll convert our time to hours. We have, then, one hour plus 36 sixtieths of an hour for our 36 minutes. When you work that out, it will come out to be exactly 1.6 hours, a carefully chosen and very convenient number. So each car travels for 1.6 hours. Now I don't know the rates. That's what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to need variables for that. Uh, ordinarily, I like to use variables like R because they require less thought later on. But they're different rates. So I'll go ahead and use X and Y in this case. And I can write an expression for the distance for each car. 1.6 times x, 1.6 times y. I'm ready to move on to some kind of an equation now. And that's going to come from my total distance. The total distance has to add up to be 160 miles. So we have a 1.6 times x plus a 1.6 times y has to equal 160. And now I'm stuck again, because I have two variables and one equation. What do I do? I find another equation. And that is coming from the tidbit that car A is traveling 10 miles per hour faster than car B. So my rates are that the rate of car A, which is x, is equal to the rate of car B, which was y, plus 10 since it's 10 miles per hour faster. Now I am set up to solve a system of equations by substitution. It's easiest to use substitution because we've already solved for x. I take the y plus m plus 10. I replace x in the first equation. And I will have 1.6 
times the quantity y plus 10 plus 1.6y equals 160. We use the distributive property. Combine like terms. 1.6 plus 1.6 is 3.2. So we have 3.2y plus 16 is equal to 160. Now, subtract 16 from both sides. And we will get 3.2 times y is, uh, let's see, 10 minus 6 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, uh, 144. Dividing by 3.2, we will get that y is equal to 45. 45 what? 45 miles per hour. We're not done. This is the rate of car B, the slower car. We find the rate of car A by adding 10. So our answer is that car A is traveling 55 miles per hour, car B is traveling an average of 45 miles per hour, and you can check this by making sure that uh, most easily by using 1.6 times the rate of A plus 1.6 times the rate of B, that it adds up to 160. So using our first equation, and that concludes this example.